Here's another application of term by term differentiation. So what I can do to figure out this Maclaurin series is start with the Maclaurin series for 1 over 1 minus x. Now, this is, comes from the geometric series formula, which is why our domain has to be absolute value of x is strictly less than 1. Also, plugging in exactly 1, of course, would cause an issue with our uh, zero denominator here. But when absolute value of x is less than 1, we have the most simple uh, power series that you can come up with. 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, so on and so forth. Okay, so if I want to find the Maclaurin series for this fraction, I can note that, well, hey, that looks like, yeah, that's the derivative. Uh, square the bottom, and then um, low d high, which is 0, minus high d low, negative negative 1 gets you positive 1. Okay, but it's also equal to the derivative with respect to x of k equals 0 to infinity, x to the k, and that's simply derivative x equals 0 to infinity, kx to the k minus 1. That's it. There's my Maclaurin series. Uh, if you prefer, though, you can, of course, uh, get rid of that k term there because, that, sorry, that zero term, if you plug in a zero that doesn't do anything, so make that k is equal to one, kx to the k minus one, and then re-index back to zero by sub subtracting one here and adding one here and here. Exactly the same thing. Either way you slice it, what do you get? You plug in, you get, 0 plus, well, don't worry about that, plug in 0 here, we get 1x to the 1. And then we plug in 1, we get 2x, 3x squared, 4x to the 3rd, 5x to the 4th, so on and so forth. Either one of these formulas that you use, you'll get this. Of course, that makes sense because 1, well, it went away to 0. x became 1, x squared became 2x, x cubed became 3x squared x to the fourth became that, x to the fifth became that, so on and so forth. So there is my first few terms of this uh, convergent Maclaurin series. Let's take a look at a graphing calculator. So here I have the original function 1 over 1 minus x squared, and we only care about numbers between negative 1 and positive 1 here. And uh, so here we go. And notice that for this polynomial here, it's a pretty darn close fit. Now, it's not so good uh, for negative less than a negative 0.2, but certainly for the positive numbers, it does an okay job. And if we wanted to do a better job, well, let's just add the next few terms. And, hey, there we go. Now we're getting a much better fit, almost up to negative 0.4, and then even better over there on the right, it seems.